My name is Ron English. I am a fine artist and a billboard liberator. When Marie Claire asked me to do a billboard for Ray-Ban, and I figured out that I was going to be able to do this and not risk arrest, I was all about it. But to me, that's like my fantasy. It's like I get to have a billboard and without having to steal it. You can't just go apply to be in the art world. So when I first moved to New York and I didn't know anybody and I didn't know how to get in and I was clueless and I took my slides everywhere and they said, we'll look at them in five years or seven years. Or, and finally, I just I took one of my paintings and just started walking around. And then, then people said, well, whose painting is that? Who are you moving that for? And I said, well, that's my painting. And I said, well, who, who represents you? And they said, I, re I represent you now. <laughs> and so it was just kind of funny, but I mean, there was no way in. And then the, the simplest thing is just to walk around and be your own billboard. I think that you have to express yourself, and you have to express yourself in a place and in a way that people experience it and see it. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to have a great fashion sense, but if you don't walk out of your house, then it, it doesn't mean anything. It has to interface with the public at some point. Then they showed me the new line of fashion and things that were going on, the trends, and said, can you make a piece of art that incorporates all the new trends? The new designers are doing stuff with modernism and with, like, organic plant life. So th this was kind of like an idea of this is somebody that they're fashioned from another planet. You go to sleep at night nude, and then the stuff grows on you at night, and then you wake up the next day, and that's what you wear during the course of the day. And as you go around during the course of the day, it absorbs the sunlight, and then by the time you go out at night, it's all lit up. It was just kind of a fanciful idea about another approach to fashion, or nature's approach to fashion. If modernism is big this season, then, then I wanted to make like a Jackson Pollock painting, like this exploding paint, but I wanted the paint to be suspended and then lit with color. So it looked day glow. And then the flower motif I put in, like many little Jackson Pollocks exploding in the piece. I never thought that I would be involved in any way in the fashion world, and then here you are, you know. You never know what's gonna happen. But you know, my philosophy of life is if you wanna get hit by a car, go stand in the street. that I did, Highways for Ramblers, for Marie Claire and Ray-Ban, Project Colorize, is kind of about freedom. I wanted like a really free spirit to be involved with the concept. What better than girls flying bunnies? My favorite part of Marie Claire magazine is the fashion stories. I just think it's a really great marriage of um, artistic photography with fashion and color concept. I kind of keep an eye out for fashion trends and clothing, way things fit on the women and, and to kind of use it indirectly in my artwork. The fashion trend that I chose was the floral patterns. For me, patterns always just um, offer a really nice texture and I thought that would be really great. One thing that I thought was really great about the new Ray Bands is they have a couple different pairs that marry two different colors, like the red and the purple. And with the floral pattern that I took in one of the pieces on the main girl, I tried to kind of do the same thing, that color harmony. The girls being ramblers, just free spirits, kind of roaming the skies, wearing the Ray-Bans worked really well for it. <laughs> and they look really cool. I grew up in the, in the 90s, and the 90s for me was just like street graffiti everywhere. There wasn't any colorful pieces where I grew up. I just really wanted to have some kind of uh, mark out in the world. I really wanted to stand out because I felt like I had this energy that I wanted to really say something really big. My cousin pretty much came up with the name, just right to fly, like that just means that you're like really dope, really cool. As a graffiti artist, you're trying to get your artwork up on the street as big as possible, as many places as you can, so for the billboard to be like huge and so many people to see it and in the city I grew up in, it, it meant a lot to me because I was like, wow, it's going to be really, really big. The name of my painting is called Staying True and basically what it means to me uh, with my work is that I want to, even though I'm doing all these high profile projects, I really want to stay true to what I do. I was really happy that I had the freedom to just paint whatever I wanted. I know that it's going to be really big on a billboard, so I wanted people to also have a little message in there. When they see it, maybe they'll think of that word or something for themselves. I was inspired by the dresses that had all these hand-painted marks, splattered paint, and there was this Dolce Gabbana dress in particular, and as soon as I saw it, I just got the image in my mind of what I wanted to paint. I think people really want those classic things to come back, but in these, like, modern new tones. Right away when I think of Ray-Ban, I think of like those shades, the way for kind of like an icon. So I just felt like it was a cool brand to work with and it would, you know, have my work also be cool. And I just thought the whole thing was pretty awesome.
So what you're seeing uh, trend-wise, a lot of influence from art, the painterly trend is really huge and it's kind of beautiful and it's everything from tiny little pointillist details to big broad strokes. Everybody's doing it, it's fantastic and it's really added colour and texture to, to the palette. Uh, also florals, absolutely huge. I mean, Takoon, one of my favourite designers, just knocking out fabulous floral dresses. And I'm someone that only ever wants to wear navy and black. And I was like, oh, I want to look like a flower bush if this is what it's going to take. It, it's fantastic. And then, of course, Day Glow, very strong, bright colours. We actually featured them in our, in our June issue. And, of course, Day Glow stretching into accessories not just fashion, and I have a pair here that I made earlier. Extending to Ray-Bans, no less. I love these. 